Now to a major international issue affecting the campaign, America's policy in the Middle East. The White House is intensifying calls for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war, even hosting a rival of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Weijia Jang is following this at the White House. Weijia, good morning. Very controversial meeting back in Israel. Nancy, good morning to you and good morning to everybody. It sure was, but it was a very important one for this administration. Vice President Kamala Harris hosted a member of Israel's war cabinet who also met with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell yesterday. His name is Benny Gantz. Harris and Gantz spoke about the urgency of negotiating a deal to rescue more than 100 hostages who are believed to be in captivity. As part of an agreement, the vice president stressed the need for a temporary ceasefire to allow hostages to be released and for more humanitarian aid to flow into Gaza. Just one day earlier, she delivered a passionate plea for a six-week pause in the violence. The White House says Gantz requested the visit, which Prime Minister Netanyahu fiercely opposed. The fact that it happened anyway shows cracks in Israel's war cabinet as it decides how this conflict will come to an end. Gantz is a political rival of Netanyahu and often floated as a potential successor. President Biden did not meet with Gantz. He was at Camp David preparing for his State of the Union address, which several family members of hostages are expected to attend. Gantz is set to meet with Secretary of State Antony Blinken today. Tony? Weijia, thank you very much.